y'all. I wanted to welcome you to my channel, uh, Hillbilly Orchids. Um, I thought I'd do this little intro video um, just to let you know who I am. Um, my name is Paula. I'm in Fairmont, West Virginia. I've been growing orchids almost a decade, pretty close. <laughs> And I have way too many orchids. <laughs> uh, let's just say I have 200 plus and I quit counting at 200, but I didn't stop buying at 200. <laughs> so, with that said, I have, um, I have them in a grow room that I use uh, LED lights. And um, I've recently been gifted... Um, a Mars Hydro grow light from my friend Justin at Justin's Orchids and More. He was kind enough that after he built his greenhouse, send me his uh, grow light. And so I've just recently got it set up under a six foot table for all my monster cat layers. So, um, but basically in my setup, um, I have a humidifier that I keep my humidity anywhere from 80 to 95 percent just depends because I have some I have some small orchids that uh, really require that higher humidity um, and like I said I have the LED grow lights or the LED shop lights and plus the one grow light but basically I grow cattleyas are my favorites um, I have some phalaenopsis like my Violacea there and my Blina. Um, I do have some other uh, species fowls. Um, I have dendrobiums. I have oncidiums. Uh, I have catacetums and catacetum types. Um, I'm trying to think if I'm missing anybody. Um, a couple Stanhopias, and I actually have some African violets that uh, a friend of mine, Michael McCarthy, um, gifted me that are growing and doing pretty good. I had, I had changed my ways to growing orchids and kind of messed up my violets last time. <laughs> so this time around, I'm doing better. <laughs> it's like I've, it's like I re- revamped my brain to grow orchids and I can't grow anything else um, but basically it's in you know in a controlled environment um, and you know I thought I'd take you along my journey of growing um, which like I said I've been growing almost a decade almost um, and I I basically grow um, by the teachings of Rick L. Um, if you've never seen him on YouTube, um, he is, he doesn't make videos anymore, but his videos are still there and they are priceless in my opinion. Um, he, um, you know, when I first started, I was struggling and he, he reached, you know, I reached out to him and he got back to me and he really, really helped me uh, tremendously in growing. So I started out growing um, with the uh, liquid hydroponics nutrients like he did. And then um, he started into the Jax uh, two-part fertilizer with the uh, calcium nitrate and the, the fertilizer. And... <sighs> I have started that fertilizer then and I've never looked back. There is, to me, there's no other. Um, there's no other fertilizer that can touch it. There just really isn't. Like, instantly, anybody that uses it within a week will tell you, oh my God, like I see this total difference in my orchids. So, with that said, I'm going to teach you guys, whoever wants to learn, all about the Jack's two-part um, fertilizer. <laughs> Trust me, it's well worth it. And, it, and if, I, if I'm going to stand here and tell you if whatever you're using, throw it away, 
buy the jacks and don't buy the generic there is a generic version of it that's not as good um, it's 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 just not there's like it's a it's just not jacks so just make sure it's the jacks name brand um, but for me to tell you, yeah, there's there's no other. I mean, my, my plants grew great on the liquid neutral hydroponics fertilizer. Um, but the minute I switched to the jacks, the other the other just went in the garbage. <laughs> but um, I'll share with you, uh, you know, my methods for for fertilizing and and how I, you know, how I do my orchids, but. That'll be in, in later videos, um, and how I do my, my, cyst, my, you know, how I take care of my orchids. <laughs> um, but basically, like I said, I just wanted to let you know, you know, who I wait, who I am, how I grow, um, controlled environment, high humidity, LED lights, um, yeah, and that's kind of the basics. Like, I, I don't take my orchids outside. I don't grow them in the summer. Um, it's just too <laughs> too hard to take out 200 plus orchids outside and then bring them back in during the winter. Um, then plus, you know, I, I have my little bouts with pests here and there in a controlled environment. I mean, I just can't imagine dealing with in and out of pests being carried in and out so yeah I just I just don't feel the need to do that I have everything set up here you know to where they like it they thrive um, and you know that's why I wanted to start the YouTube channel so that everybody you know everybody could see we could share the journey together um, you know and, and learn from each other and I like to try to be there for, you know, a lot of new people because I know how bad I struggled. I almost quit. Um, I, I had, I had totally burned up my, my first, um, a bunch of orchids because I mixed fertilizer according to better grow directions on the box, the bag, whatever. <laughs> I mixed it according to that. And when I tested that with my TDS meter, Lord have mercy, it was like 700 parts per million times 10. Ain't no wonder I was burning up my orchids. But there's marketing things at play there that they want you to kill your orchids so that you buy more. You know, you, we can't have you keep that orchid alive because we're not going to sell more if you keep yours alive. And that's like the just ice thing. Um, you know, that's all that is, is a marketing ploy as well. Um, there's there's several different ploys to get you to to buy. Um, even though most of us have a have an addiction that we don't need a reason to buy. <laughs> um, it's just uh, it's real. It's there, and, and we want them. Um, you know, we get over overwhelmed sometimes, but um, and it's it is a labor of love. It's but it's a really good labor of love. I mean, once, you know, I mean, I have the, I have the orchids that, for the most part, um, you know, something's always in bloom. I have enough that there's always, always something in bloom. So, I didn't mean to cover up Little Miss Blina there, but, <laughs> Um, yeah, there's, there's always, always something extra in bloom. Um, you know, so you don't always be looking at a sea of green. But, um, I definitely, you know, like I said, I wanted to get this started. Um, I've had so many supporters, you know, really want me to do this. Um, because, you know, anybody that has contacted me, you know, and talked to me, and needed help, you know, I've tried to be there to help them, um, and I, I like and enjoy that, you know, it's, it's really quite a community, it really is, um, you know, there's probably so many that I, it, I'd probably forget to not name everybody, but, I mean, it even goes clear back to Orchid Nerd, um, and I, she's changed her 
um, her name now. She's not even Orchid Nerd anymore. Um, but she encouraged me to start. She's like, you know, you have a lot of good knowledge, so, you know, put it out there. And I'm like, okay. Um, you know, and I promised her, like, in 2000 that I would do that. And, uh, or in 2020 um, that I would do that. And the, the days and months came and flew by and I didn't get to do it. So, but, you know, um, I've had so many people say, you know, do it. And, you know, I promise you I, I'll plug you on my channel and all that. I mean, everybody's so great. You just, you just don't know. I mean, there's Justin's Orchids and more. There's um, Yoshi, um, Orchids by the Lake. Um, you know, he... Um, like I said, I probably will forget to name everybody, <laughs> but, um, you know, there's just so many of them, and, um, they're really, really great people, they really are, um, you know, I, I talk to a lot of them pretty much so on a daily basis, um, you know, and it's, it's just great, it's, it's really an experience, and, and to know that there's, you know, there is a few, few nice people out there. Um, like I said, in the beginning, I reached out, you know, I mean, I was frantic. Uh, and I didn't have a great return of people willing to help me. Um, some people, you know, get to that point where they're just like, well, I'm not helping new people. I don't want to be like that. I want to try to help everybody, you know, um, or anybody that asks. You know, I'm, I'm not... I'm not, uh, I'm not going to turn my back on anybody that asks for help, you know, especially when it comes to orchids. Uh, trust me, because I have been there. <laughs> I have been there, and I have dealt with my fair share of, of many, many different things, many different problems, um, you know, that, you know, I'd, I'd be willing to help, so... But with that said, um, like I said, this is just my introduction video. Um, I just wanted to say hi to everybody, uh, say, hey, y'all, come back and <laughs> visit me again, um, you know, I'd like it, uh, I'd like it if you'd stop back by, so, thanks for watching.